Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are Lolita Loca, and this is Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars! Cruise Wars, episode 14. That's right, folks. We're back for another week. New topics, new war, uh, Cruise Wars, where we go to war weekly over the hottest topics in cruising. Jenny, last week, we cleared the bowl we, we started over. We made That's a it. new list of Cruise Wars topics. We've got eight fresh topics. Uh, we, we have a list of topics. We took eight of those topics and we put them on these pieces of paper. Look, we ran out of index cards. It's a whole <laughs> The production value just went up. We have paper. Uh, we've written the topics that we're going to uh, put in the bowl. This is the bowl right here. Oh, and what else do we have? We have a D20. D20, 20-sided 20 dice. So we put the topics in the bowl. We draw out three each week, and we debate those topics. One of us is for it. One of us is, is against it. And uh, there's a good chance that one of us will lose their mind. Team Jenny. Come on. I have to throw how them long, How How many minutes into this video are we? The, well, I mean, I need to throw you off a little bit. The people out there know it's hashtag... Team Jenny. Team Lolita Loco, which actually means hashtag Team Tony. Go ahead and leave a comment this early in the video. Drop your Team Tony down there. Cruise Show Wars. some love and then come back and leave another comment. That's what I want to see. I want to see a comment filled with Team Tonys. Do it. Don't listen to him. Team Jenny. Did you do it? Team Lolita Loco. Team Tony. All right, team Jenny. Team Lolita Loco. Let's. Enough of these shenanigans. Okay. Enough of this goofing around. Let's go. The people want to know what the topics are. All new topics going into the bowl. Cruise Wars 14. Tell the people what your four topics are. Okay. <laughs> My first one. Should cruise lines do major construction during a cruise? Mm. Topical and timely. Yes. Do you want to go or do you want to Oh, yeah. To we go? could alternate. We yeah, could. let's alternate. How about that? Should people who vape... Uh, or use electronic cigarettes, be restricted only to the smoking areas on a cruise ship. Good one. Should you leave your kids in camp on the ship while you explore the port? <laughs> Should you be required to try on the life jacket before you set sail? Ooh. Ooh. Should you be intimate on your balcony? Oh, so racy. Better keep it clean, Jenny. <laughs> Should the cruise line provide toilet liners for the public restrooms on the cruise ship? Should the cruise lines do automatic gratuities? Hmm. Well, how about this one? Should you hook up, as the kids say, I don't even know what that means, <laughs> with a stranger, stranger danger on the cruise? Stranger danger! Should you hook up with a stranger on your cruise vacation? Let's just say if you're married, the answer's no. We'll get that one out of the way. Better be no. Anthony. We'll get that one out of the way. We like to mix these up. Uh, well, I say we. I like to mix this this up so that the categories there's a good randomization. We're not using any technology here. There's no R N G, no random number generator. So it's up to me to do the work. And of while I sit here, I just keep saying, just let him do it. 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 Tell me when you think it's good, Jenny. I think it might be good now. Okay. All right, Now Jenny. we're at the point of Cruise Wars. Cruise Wars? That we roll a die. No, we're not. No? No. Have you, have you done any of these Cruise Wars? <laughs> First you have to pick a topic. Okay. And since this is a new, it's almost like a new season. We've got new topics. We've got new paper in the bowl. Let's just call it season two of Cruise Wars or episode 14. Jenny, what are you doing? I've already, I've already, actually, I like it. <laughs> All right. Jenny, you can go first. Draw out the first topic. I know you okay, want to roll that die. So here let's we see go. What we let's see what it is. The first one. Should you be required to try out your life jacket before you set sail? Very interesting. A yes. little safety. It's a public service announcement. Mm -hmm. Jenny, roll the D20, the 20-sided die. Okay. 1 through 10, you're 4 trying on the life jacket. 11 through 20, you're against it. All right. I am for it. You are 4 trying on the life jacket. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm going to do for you, Jenny? What are you going to do? Because I love you. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm just going to keep saying that until I can pull up this app on my phone for you. What are you going to do? I am going to give you one minute on the clock for you to argue that you are for uh, uh, trying on your life jacket before you cruise. 
Are you ready? I am ready. One minute on the clock. Okay. Your time starts now. All right. So listen, we're all different. Th this is the bottom line. We're all different sizes. There are children on the ship. I think that they should require that you try on your life jacket and they show you how to properly put it on. Um, I, there is, I, I think that jackets are universal size. I'm not real sure. I know that they have the pulls and all that good stuff. So I would think an adult size would fit an adult size, but let's make sure. And I think that children should have to try on their life jacket just in case they get separated from their parents. Plus, who wants to even try to even think about putting on their life jacket and trying it on when the ship is going down? I mean, come on, people. Safety first. I'll yield back my time. You don't have any time left. <laughs> Boom. Boom in your face! So I will be arguing why it doesn't make any sense at all to make every million people put on their life jacket before they set sail, right? That's correct. Uh, it is correct. Yes. Let me know when I Are you ready, Tony? I am ready. All right, Tony, let's go. Listen, you're never going to have to wear your life jacket. It does not matter. Uh, it does not matter. And look, they make it as simple as possible. You're going to be wearing this thing in an emergency. You're telling me you don't know how to clip something in? Look, there's a light on it. I think you just hit it. I don't know. They don't make you try it on. And because they don't make you try it on, it must be easy. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, I don't know if I can put my life... Look, I tell you what. If you get in the middle of an emergency, you're going to figure out how to put on your life jacket. And you know, yeah, secure the kids first. That's what they tell you. I believe it. But look, if you can get the life jacket on a kid, you can get it on yourself. I don't have to... Look, I don't Look, I paid my money. I do not want to have to carry my life jacket through my Guy's Burger experience, through my just on the Windjammer Lido on my Royal Caribbean ship experience, and I, and strap that and carry that life jacket around. It's cumbersome. Look, I'll put it on in case of an emergency, but uh, you know I'm not playing dress up safety man just so I can go on my cruise. It's ridiculous. Your time's up. That's enough. And I'm, I'm, See, that's why you you have to stop. You're going to be disqualified if you go over your time. That's what the people have said. The How people that? have How spoken. Hey, wait, let me, here's my response. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jenny, you've heard what is probably the best argument. Hashtag Team Tony. Go ahead, fill up the comments. Hashtag Team Tony. It makes me feel good. Uh, and so now, do you feel like, do, do you need another minute to... Re to re I do. Or do you just want to just say... No, look, I no. need another do minute Do you want right to say now. hashtag Team I Tony? Almost Let's need... practice it. Team Tony. Can you say that? Team Lovely to look. Oh, you ready? One minute on the clock. Eh, time sucks down. So listen, are you really going to be fussing around with that life jacket in the middle of the ocean if there's an emergency? No! You need to figure it out before, even if you don't bring it to the mustard drill, take it out of your closet and see what it's all about. Learn how to put that light on because you know what? You better save me. I'm done. Whoa. Holy moly. I'm sorry, folks. I know I had to beep a lot of that out. Jenny, I did not. Look. Look. I'm listening. You I'm not looking at you, though. You, you figure out how to use a life jacket because you might have to save me. How about that? <laughs> how about them apples? Wait. What do you think? Should you be required to try on your life jacket before you uh, cruise? It doesn't have to be at the muster drill. I should you have to try on that life jacket before you set sail? Leave a comment below. Let us know. Uh, all right, Jenny. Topic number two. You know, I just had a weird thought. Yeah. You're almost going to try that life jacket on on your wet chest, aren't you, when you get out of the shower? Because I know how you roll. <laughs> it would be like sea-like. <laughs> I'm in the water. Oh, I might wear the life jacket in the, uh, in the in, shower. In the shower. Hey, hey. He's going to try on the life jacket. When he's in the shower. I see that being, I know him. I see that being a future Lolly to Loca video. Can a fat guy <laughs> fit in the shower with his life jacket on with the water on? I'd almost pay money to see that. Yeah. Topic number two. Topic number two. What is it, Tony? Should people who vape be restricted to the smoking areas? Okay. Uh-oh. 16. I am against people who vape being restricted.
Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go. Look, vaping, smoking, are they the same thing? Like one involves fire and smoke and the other involves, I don't know what, like some liquid and then like some sort of magic trick. Why do I have to, why do I have to go stand with the smokers? I mean, look, we've already said the smokers need to go somewhere else because we don't want them in our, in our civilized society, but I'm a vapor. Come on. That's why I vape, so I can vape where I want. I can do cool vape tricks. You ever see me do like those big, those big vape rings? So cool. It's more like entertainment. Don't regulate me back to the to the back room, to the smoky back room. I could get cancer back there. Look, I vape for a reason. I'm not a smoker. I shouldn't be treated like a secondhand citizen. I paid my money. I paid my money for my cruise. I paid my money for my vape juice. I paid my money for my vape thing. I paid my money for the holster that I keep my vape thing in. I, I should vape anywhere done. I want. Main done, dining room done, while they're done. twirling the towels. I'm vaping in your face. <laughs> hashtag Team Tony. Vape in your face. Hashtag. All right, Jen. Are you done? I, th I think I've said what needs to be said there. Are you ready to tell me why uh, vape people who vape should have to do that in the smoking area? Absolutely. All right, uh, I've got one minute on the clock for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so we all know that I'm a smoker. Guess what? When I'm walking down the hallway, I don't want to be behind a person that's vaping. It's like walking into smoke. And then they have all these crazy little smells and, you know, you can get cherry and... I know someone that they they vape and it smells like maple syrup, so it smells like pancakes. Mm, you know what? Bacon. When you're behind someone in a closed quarters and on the cruise ship, who wants to smell that? What if you're allergic to all that vape and you know what? They don't know what vaping does to people. So yes, they should be outside with the smokers, just like how the smokers have to go outside and be secluded from everybody. And you know what, cruise lines? Maybe the people that drink, they should be secluded too. I'm done. Jenny, your time is up. Yeah, that's good. Well, as much as I'd like to just let you go scot-free with that little argument, I think I will take my extra one minute to destroy it. Oh, are you ready, Team Jenny? Hashtag Team Tony. Leave a comment now. Flood those comments. <laughs> Go. Look, oh, oh, it smells bad. Oh, 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 it smells, look, right, look, fine. Don't let people vape in the hallways because it smells bad. But any person that's wearing perfume or cologne, go make them stand in the perfume and, and cologne area. What about people that maybe, uh, you know, didn't wash their underpants? Make those people go stand somewhere else, too. If I am uh, being they victimized, if I'm being victimized, <laughs> don't mess me up. If I'm being victimized by the smells of other people, then look, everybody has to be quarantined. Uh, look, vaping's not smoking. No, they don't know what it does. Who cares? They didn't know what smoking did 50 years ago, and that worked out fine. Look, I'm going to vape <laughs> wherever I want to vape, and uh, you can't stop me because I paid my money. So, vapors unite, blow the smoke, make the smoke rings, do the magic, maple syrup, bacon, vaping in the, in the main dining room <laughs> during the towel twirling. I yield back my time. Because I'm right. You didn't even have any time left. Vape Nation! <laughs> what about you guys? What do you think? What do you think? Leave a comment below that starts with Team Tony and then say whatever you want. After that, I don't care. It better be Team Jenny or else I'm going to cry. You're pandering <laughs> too much. It's not like I've said Team Tony 50 times in this video. Hashtag Cruise Wars! Cruise Wars, Volume 14. Well, it's not like I sit in the hot tub with dirty underwear. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, <laughs> the last topic, Jenny. All right, and the last topic is... Should cruise lines do major construction during a cruise? Come on. I, I didn't know if I wanted this one to show up or not. I know. It's so soon. It is. All right, Jenny. What? Which side are you going to argue for this? I don't know. Let's roll the die and let's check that out. The D20. I am against it. You're against it. All right. Are you ready with whatever argument I'm going to destroy? Are you ready? Yes. You have one minute on the clock. Your time starts now. 
All right, so I paid a lot, a lot of money to go on a cruise. I don't want to be awoken by jackhammering. If I want to sleep until 11 o'clock in the afternoon, how am I going to do that when they're cleaning the carpets outside my door? Guess what? If I go to the dining room, I don't want to see plastic up and them doing construction with all the dust and all of that can, that can get into my food. Come on, cruise lines. You make enough money from me with the drink package, with buying stuff in the stores, in the spa. Come on. How dare you ruin a once-in-a-lifetime chance for me to go on a cruise. I may never go on that cruise ship again. You don't know. Do not do construction during a cruise when people and families are just trying to vacation and relax from working hard all year long. Jen, your time is up. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, Team Tony. Go. Look. It's very competitive to be a cruise line. There is a lot of different cruise lines for people to choose from. And you know what they want? They want fresh new ships. They want ships with nice uh, amenities. They want ships that have been uh, renovated. And it's a seven-day-a-week job. These cruise ships, they flip the, the cruise every few days. And, and yeah, it, you, know, you can't have a ship off the sea. Uh, because you're losing out on the opportunity to uh, to give people a good vacation experience. You thought I might say to make some money. Now, that's not what these people are about. These people are not about money. They're about providing good vacation experiences uh, to, to people who want to cruise. And so, yeah, sometimes you gotta you, you got to strip a floor. Sometimes you got to lay a little chemical down. Sometimes you got to jackhammer. Look, it wasn't even on the same floor, okay? There were signs. It's marked off. Sometimes you have to do some construction to get the job done. I think people would be a little more, you know, I tell you what, people are mad when they don't have a nice uh, cruise ship to All cruise right, on. All right, done. But, but done. Come, so time. Wear time. A time. Put on a mask and get over it. Is that how you're really going to roll? Because guess what? Now I need a minute. Oh, you need a minute? Yes. All right, Jenny. Go ahead and continue to tell me why I shouldn't do construction on cruise. You're ready? One minute on the clock. You ready? Time starts now. When I pay my money, it means I get to use the entire ship, all sections. Oh, I guess of you're gonna ship. be on the bridge. You're gonna so drive why the ship. You're gonna would drive you it? even think that part of the dining room should be shut off? Part of the casino should be shut off. Guess what? People get sick from those construction dust. We don't know what's in that dust. Fiberglass could be in there. It's all going into my lungs. I didn't sign up and pay my money well, to go get sick on the in the middle the of the ocean. The sky is falling. Chicken Come Little on. said the sky is falling. You know, you make enough money. I paid enough money to go on a cruise. I work hard for my money. And yes, <sighs> you're money hungry. Cruise ships that you just can't even port it for a little bit. Come on. I'm done. Thank you, Chicken Little. I will, I will take back the rest of your time. Take it back. What do you think? Should cruise lines uh, should cruise lines do construction, major construction during an ongoing cruise or not? Leave a comment below. Team Jenny. Hashtag Team Tony, Team Lalita Loca. That is the debate section, the debate portion of this episode. And now what we like to do is we like to tell you uh, how we really feel about these questions. Yeah. Uh, I need to take a minute to compose myself, though, because Me you too, because I am sweating. <laughs> got me worked up. All right, Jenny, what was the first question? The first question was, should you be required to try out your life jacket before you set sail? Uh, I, I never really... I never really thought about that until today, but I, for some reason I was thinking about the muster drill, and uh, yeah, they don't make you try it on, and I think they should. Or uh, I believe now, I think you're right what you said earlier. I will be trying on the life jacket because I don't, I have no idea how, it, it's probably super easy. Right. I don't know how the clasp works. I don't know how the light works. Probably super easy. It's probably just the clasp and it's probably easy to turn the light on. But I don't think I want to try to figure that out when I'm jumping into the ocean or, or whatever, you know? And so I think you're right. I think I might try, I mean, I don't know about the whole shower thing, but <laughs> I might actually try it on uh, in advance just to make sure I know that it fits and then how it works. Yeah, I think I'm the same. I think that, uh, you know, they used to make you bring them with you to the mustard drill, and they don't make you do that anymore. And I think that's kind of cool, you know, that you don't have to lug, lug it, that yeah. life jacket all over the place. 
But yeah, for me, I think I'm definitely going to, you know, at least try to see how it works and make sure it fits and, you know, see how you turn on the light, that kind of stuff. And yeah, we don't have little children with us, but I mean, in, in a thing of an emergency, I would love if I can help somebody. So yeah, if you know yeah. what you're doing, maybe you got the maybe you got the ability to help somebody else out. Yeah, so I think that uh, that's a that's going to be our number one thing when we get on the next ship. I'm taking a picture. Everybody, take a picture in your life jacket. <laughs> post it on the Lolita Loca Cruising. Community. Yeah, this way we know you tried it on and you know how to use it. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So are you ready for number two? Yes. Number two was uh, should people who vape be restricted to the smoking areas? Um, I totally think that they should. Yeah, so I, I'm a non-smoker. I don't want to have to walk through magic water vapor the same way I don't want to have to walk through smoke. I do hang out with you in those areas, but I, you know, I'm making a conscious effort to be in the middle of that. I don't want to be on the Lido or walking down the hall and have to go through the maple syrup you know, vape thing. So completely, uh, completely agree with that. Yeah, and I mean, I am a smoker, but I do try to be very respectful when I am smoking. Um... You know, I, I don't want to walk through that kind of stuff either. And, you know, even though I'm a smoker, I hate the smell of it and I don't want to be in the middle of it. So, exactly. <laughs> so I appreciate the little time that you spend off there with me. So Exactly. And our third question, are you ready for our third question? Yes. Okay. Our third question is, should cruise lines do major construction during a cruise? Uh I don't think so. I know that they're going to have to do routine maintenance. We've seen right. leaks be taken care of, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. I think a major construction project, I, I don't think they should do it. Nah. I don't think it's fair to the people that are on board. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think there's much of an argument there. Like uh, it's something so disruptive that people who uh, paid a good amount of money for a cruise, a once in a lifetime cruise, I, I don't think it's fair to them. And I would be mad. I would be extremely upset if I didn't know that that was what was scheduled for my cruise, you know, and if I paid $14,000 for a cruise, um, of a lifetime, I'm going to be extremely upset. Absolutely. Um, but if, if I knew booking the cruise, Hey, this is a construction cruise. And instead of the $14,000, you're only going to have to pay $7,000. Yeah. I think that's fair. And then the cruise lines, you know, wouldn't have to, you know, put their ship into dry dock, they wouldn't lose so much money. And you know what? We would get a cheap cruise, and if we couldn't use part of the ship, that's okay, because I knew that going into it. I, I do like that idea. If you tell me, if, if you're going to give me a, hey, come get on a reduced cruise because we want to work on half the ship, I might I might be up for that, you yeah. know, just to get to be on a cheap cruise. And so, uh, but yeah, it's uh, just straight up construction without me knowing, I think would bum me out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It would, I, I'd be extremely upset. Well, what do you guys think? Uh, what do you think about all the topics? Where you hashtag Team Tony, hashtag Team Jenny. Or just hashtag Lolita Loca. Hashtag Team Lolita Loca. Because we're all together. That's right. And hey, if you want to show your support for Cruise Wars, we do have a couple Cruise Wars t-shirts. Cruise t -shirt, Wars! T uh, Cruise Wars. We do have a couple Cruise Wars t-shirts. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've got the uh, I Paid My Money t-shirt and Just Follow the Rules uh, there's a link in the description. Follow the rules, people. <laughs> link in the description below. Hey, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, uh, make sure you do that. Yeah, and so hey, if you if you want some more cruising content outside of YouTube, uh, go check out the Cruise Geeks podcast. It's a podcast I do with my buddy Matt Allen once a week, and every once in a while we are graced with the presence of Jenny. So uh, go check out episode and Sandy. Yeah, go check out episode ten if you want to hear the geekettes along with the Cruise Geeks. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you do that. And uh, yeah, all of our uh, social media links are in the description Twitter below. Twitter and Instagram. In the La Lita Loca Cruising community. Yeah. And so once again, I am Tony. And I am Jenny. We are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. See you on the Lido. I paid my money to be on that Lido. Why are you always messing up see you on the Lido? <laughs> Why? Hashtag Team Tony. we got to put a stop to it right now. <laughs> Flood those comments. Hashtag Team Tony. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.